Lisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I'm excited to share with you a flip through of my gratitude documented 2021 project. I love this project every year. I shared all of my gratitude documented entries, the processes over on Instagram, um, through stories and reels and things like that. And I thought I would do a full flip through for you. I do have a video on how I set it up. Um, I participate in this project every year. I love it. I love how it ties our gratitude back to scripture and back to who God is. I love the feel and the aesthetic of the project. Um, it just brings me a lot of joy to work through this one every November. So this year I created a ring book. I took the journal that was available, um, the devotional over at Illustrated Faith, and I cut it apart and added rings to it. You can see that I've um, since decorated my rings with some fabric scraps that I had in my stash just to add a little extra oomph. And then I also ended up adding some tabs to my pages those were not there before. Um, I got a little off on the tab, so they're not like perfectly spaced, but that's okay. Um, I decorated this front cover, adding these felt leaves from Felicity Jane, and I had just a good time using up a lot of what was in my stash. Uh oh, let me put this one back in. I used up a lot um, of what was in my stash from past gratitude documented um, projects and have really enjoyed it. So if you are interested in seeing a flip through of all 30 days of gratitude documented, stay tuned. I'll make sure to link supplies down in the description box. This is not just for November. You can certainly work through gratitude anytime. All right, let's go. Okay, first we have day one and day two. Day one was beauty in the mess and we were referencing Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Um, for each day, you'll see that I had kind of a formula. I had the title, which um, looks different for all the different days. I chose a beloved society girl for each day. Those are all of these um, illustrations right here. You can print out um, beloved society girls over um, at Illustrated Faith. They have them available in the digital shop over there. And then I had floor on every day. Other than that, it kind of varied a little bit, um, but it was really helpful to um, to gather um, those parts of the project and have them ready to go. It was a great jumping off point. So day one, Isaiah 43, um, I wrote, creating something new is not without mess. In fact, um, things are messiest before the breakthrough. I find beauty in those messy moments because I know God is hard at work creating something new. Day two was learning to let go. And we looked at Psalm 4610. I included my um, journaling in here. And I said, Father, I'm grateful that you are teaching me to let go. Let go of worldly expectations and look only to you who loves me completely. And I loved getting to use these printables from Shauna Klingerman here in the background. I also used several pieces from Project Grateful, which was another gratitude project put out by Illustrated Faith. Day three was romancing the ordinary, which I found intriguing. Um, and we looked at James 117, every good and perfect gift is from above. And I had fun layering some different uh, Maggie Holmes stickers and just different crepe paper pieces as well that were in my stash. Day four was big dreams. I used some stamping here in the background to add a little bit of extra fall foliage. We were looking at Ephesians 3, 20 through 21. And I said, I have big dreams and aspirations, and I'm able to have all those dreams and aspirations because of just how big God is. I have confidence that the plans he has for me would blow my mind. He allows us to dream big because he is preparing us for so much more beyond this earth. Five, grace upon grace. We looked at John 1, 14. Beautiful, getting to use some of the principles again from Shauna Klingerman. Love these beloved society girls. They are just my favorite. And I wrote, God became flesh as the ultimate show of his grace. He lived the perfect life that we aren't able to live. Then he sacrificed him for us, each of us. So thankful for the grace of God that guides my steps. Day six, our wild and free spirits. I had fun with some mixed media here in the background that you can see. I thought that was really appropriate. We looked at 2 Timothy 1, 6 through 7, and I started doing this kind of um, layered look with the washi where I created washi ruffles, and then that kind of continued throughout a lot of the rest of this book. Day seven, we have a captivated heart. Again, these are some papers. I believe these are from Shauna Klingerman um, that I was able to use to cover up because I used mixed media on this side. Some of it um, bled through. So I just put paper down on this side. I created a little pocket um, 
for writing out my gratitude for that particular day. Day five was all about unity, and I used these post-it notes that were available. Um, I think these may have come as part of the kit. It says thankful for, and I wrote things that I was thankful for that brought people together, and I layered them in the background. So my journaling is actually, some of it's covered up, and that's okay. I have two beloved society girls on this page because we're representing unity and coming together. Day nine um, was peace beyond all understanding. And we, of course, were looking at Philippians 4, 6 through 7. I love having all of these foliage pieces and um, flowers come from behind here. I think it's beautiful. And I wrote here, how would I get through this crazy life without the peace you provide? I could not do it. Thank you, Lord, for being my anchor, my rainbow, and my peace. Day 10 was all about worship. Um, and I actually talked in the journaling, I've been missing our corporate worship recently because of my daughter's soccer schedule. And so I wrote how when I'm absent from worship, I really do know and love and appreciate um, the, the wonders that come from worship. Day 11 is called, is, um, we were looking at a glorious inheritance and I actually really, really dig this page. Ephesians 1, 17 through 18. Um, and I wrote, hope is the glorious inheritance God has given us. Hope in a future without pain and sadness. Hope that eternity awaits us filled with light and love. Hope that God is always there guiding our steps. And I just loved how this page came together. I loved getting to use some of those wooden pieces from Felicity Jane. Super pretty page. Day 12 is the tender hearted. So this time the title didn't quite fit on the page. So I just included it um, on the ring here. And we looked at 2 Kings 22, 19. And I wrote, uh, Lord, soften my heart and open my ears to your gentle whispers. Help me to feel and experience all the things that will shape me into the woman you designed me to be. And again, you can see that I did that washi tape ruffle technique, and I really have been enjoying that particular technique. And once you find something you like, just go with it for a while, like ride that train. And it also kind of helped bring a cohesiveness to the book because there were some similar techniques throughout. Day 13 was authentic friendship, and I um, spent a lot of time reflecting on just how amazing my friendships are and how thankful I am for the different friendships in my life. The verse was John 15, 12 through 13, and I created a little pocket with this Polaroid picture right here and added a few um, extra just hearts and love kind of cascading down the page. Day 14, a new creation. And we looked at 2 Corinthians 517. I included a lot of stamping. These are stamps actually from By the Well for God, which is beautiful autumn stamps. And I wrote, God makes all things new. He can take the worst situation and recreate it into something new and beautiful. And he created us to be creative as well and to flourish in this world. Day 15, the gift of the gospel. Um, and I just shared in the journaling about just how thankful I am for the gospel and how it truly changed my life. Had washi tape over here and just layering some different pieces. This was a very simple page, came together very quickly, um, but still very impactful. Day 16 um, is about light in the darkness. And I love um, kind of reflecting on how God is light in this world and how we are called to be light in this world. Um, so I thought it was just a wonderful day to reflect on. We looked at John 8, 12, and um, I had some stenciling here in the background, lots of layering with sticker pieces and washi tape and a few charms from Felicity Jane. All right, day 17 is called Awakened Love, and we have some stenciling here in the background. We were journaling on 1 Thessalonians 3, 12, and I wrote, Lord, please soften my heart and burst it open. May your love flow through me and show me how to pour it out to others. Day 18 is about healing, and I reflected on 1 Peter 2, 24, and the journaling that I wrote, this is just torn scrapbook paper on either side with journaling down in the middle and just clusters of fun fall elements. And I wrote about the healing, how we often pray for physical healing, and sometimes God answers our prayers by healing things on the inside that we didn't know um, were a problem. So I was just thankful for to God for all of the different kinds of healing that um, he gives to us. 
a 19, a new perspective. I happen to really, really like this particular title card. Um, just some simple stamping and some colors back here. I again chose some pieces from Project Grateful to include. And I wrote, I do feel like I was born to stand out, born to be different, to follow God's path for my life. Thank you for the encouragement. Day 20 was all about mentors, teachers, and leaders, and I've had some fantastic mentors in my life that have guided me in different ways, and so I just spent a little bit of time reflecting on them. I thought these different leaves kind of represented different mentors that um, impact our lives at different times. So I wrote, so thankful for the remarkable mentors and teachers that God has placed in my life. Some of them taught me willingly, and others taught me without ever knowing they were. Day 21 is um, reflecting on pure hearts. And we looked at Psalm 51, 10. And um, I loved getting to like focus here in the middle and have this vertical layout with all of the grateful um, prompts from Project Grateful right here. And I just wrote about, I wanted God to break my heart for what breaks his. Day 22, the peacemakers. And we looked at Matthew Five, nine, and I reflected on how um, just we're not called to be peacekeepers, but peacemakers and how that is really an active stance and how God wants us to seek reconciliation and forgiveness and see he wants us to reach out to others and how peacemaking is not just a laid back thing, but a very active um, element to our lives. Day 23 was the good news. This is probably my least favorite just layout. I loved the study. We looked at Matthew 9, 35 through 36. Um, just a little less inspired today, but because I had already gathered the elements in advance, it did help it all come together, um, which is wonderful because when you're doing a month-long project or a year-long project, something like that, some days you're going to feel less inspired than others, but you can still power through and, um, and create on that day. Day 24 was the truth, and we looked at John 8, 31 through 32, and I loved this washy border look. I thought that was a really nice touch. Um, I wrote, in a world where truth feels relative, I am thankful for the absolute truth given to us by God. Lord, you are my forever compass, the truth that I follow always. I loved day 25, reflecting on the awe and wonder that God brings. That's one of the things that really um, brings me joy because I love that there's just so many things that can't be explained, but we can still um, sit in awe. Um, this was a lot of layering with some stamping in the background. Pretty easy how it came together. Um, love, love that page. Day 26 is Beloved and how we are called children of God. Um, several times I actually took my Beloved Society girls right here and I covered up their original dresses with some of the scrap paper that I was using in my um, book so that it coordinated a little bit better, added a little wooden flower embellishment and of course some just different stickers. And I wrote, how blessed are we to be called Beloved Children of God? We are chosen called and deeply loved. He lavishes us in every way and I'm so grateful to be his. Day 27 is called New Hope and we looked at Psalm 31, 24 and I love reflecting on the hope of God um, just because I feel like that is one of the things that, Christ that sets Christianity apart from other um, religions, just the hope that is instilled through um, our faith faith. And so I had a lot more journaling on this particular day. I played with some grid washi tape in different layers. Um, again, the same floral, same kind of scheme, but I like how each day, even though there are a lot of elements that are the same, they still have their own character. Day 28 is called Open Hands and Open Heart. Um, I had some stamping over here on the side and again, some mixed media elements on this particular page. We looked at 2 Corinthians 6, 11, and I wrote, what does it mean to open our hearts? It means being authentic, sharing the good and the bad. It means truly doing life together and loving in all situations. Day 29 was lessons learned in the middle, which I thought was a really interesting topic. And we looked at Proverbs 24, 32. 
and I wrote again this was some more mixed media because some of it had bled through on this side I decided to just go for it on this side as well with some scrap paper layered in the background and I wrote the middle is a hard place to be Lord open my eyes to the lessons you would have me learn in the middle the middle is hard but full of the good stuff and day 30 it was kind of like a celebration of everything i did a huge collage in the background of some frames and some printables from shauna klingerman and in day 30 we're talking about um answered prayers and we looked at psalm 37 7 and just how god answers prayers it's not always in the way that we expect but he never leaves our prayers unanswered he always hears um, and so for that i am very grateful so that is my gratitude documented project. If you are working through gratitude documented and you're not quite done, no worries, keep working. This is a project that can be done any time of year. It doesn't have to be just in the month of November. I, like I said, always really enjoy this project. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of following me over on Instagram, social media to see kind of my daily process for gratitude documented. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Like I said before, I will link supplies down below in case you're wanting to check out any of these particular supplies or some of the supplies that I used working through Gratitude Documented. I want to give a huge shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. Thank you so much for all of your support. I hope that you all have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.